say sleepers? Sleep is for the rich gun club. Why, why are you guys out here with guns? Why not? Those guys came on Sunday and they tried to intimidate some innocent uh, women, ladies. Women. Unarmed men. They got one of them right here. They got one of them right there. Just post up right there. Just post. Just keep it right there. Just post right there. We came out here because those guys came out here trying to intimidate those girls, and they thought that they were gonna have it easy. But one phone call was made, and the whole and 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 everybody came down here on. No bullshit. And Louisiana is, is, is a uh, total gun state. Yes, yeah, an open carry state. So, open and that, so that's open carry. Who so came, that's why we out here. Who came out here this weekend? Who are you talking about? The Confederates. You watch the news, right? What station you with? KTB. KTB. Oh, y'all ain't keeping up with that? No, I'm, I'm I aware, bet. But, I okay. bet. So, 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 any, so, any, yeah, so, any, so anybody, so anybody that keeps up with the news, anybody that keeps up with the news, you should know what went on this weekend. You should know. Don't start paying attention whenever we respond to shit stuff. All right. Don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't start paying attention whenever we start responding. Hey, big dog, hold on. Don't start paying attention whenever we start responding to stuff. The time to pay attention is not when the oppressed people decide to respond to the oppression. You heard me? The time to be caring about race relations is when it's going down. Don't wait. Why are we still having to come out here and fight over a monument that 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 from people who fought against our country, bro? Y'all don't understand the, the 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 hypocrisy in that. And then you want to ask why we out here protecting these people? It's about good versus evil. That's why. If you claim to be a white ally and you stand with black people, that's cool. We appreciate that. But it's about good and evil, bro. And if you know what's right, you need to get off your high horse and you need to come down here. And if you and, and if you're in the black community, like I did, like I've been saying all day, if you call yourself a tough guy, if you've never had a club fight, if you've ever been in Cocos and had a club fight or any of these nightclubs, Sandbar, Sam, Sandbar, Phoenix, give me another. Where we at? If you, uh, if, you, if you could go into a nightclub and be ready to punch something down. You need to come down here and be ready to pump something down for your people and for uh, and for the right cause. And we starting the gun club. We getting every every eligible person of color their gun rights. We are gonna, gonna make sure that they know their gun rights. We are gonna make sure that damn near every eligible per, eligible person of color got their concealed carry permits. Any brothers that may have felonies, we working with attorneys right now, and we gonna help y'all get y'all felonies cleared off your record, so y'all boys can feel safe about protecting yourself. A Bossier police, uh, police officer, when I was taking my concealed carry class, he told me, he said, cops are not crime fighters. Black people, cops do not fight crime. They respond. No, they respond to crime, little daddy. By the time the cops get there, you already been messed over. You done already caught your issue, right? So you need to have a, you need to find a way where you can protect yourself and your family before the cops get there. Right then and right there. Right then and there. By the time the cops get there, you need to be explaining to them why you got a few dead men on your front property. That's why we out here. Because we ain't taking no intimidation and no bullying no more. If you white and you stand with us and you an ally, well you come out here and make yourself known. It ain't enough to be quiet no more. It ain't enough to be quiet no more. Bring your ass out here and stand with us. Quiet don't work. And don't edit nothing out. I don't care if you got to make this a 30 minute yeah. <laughs> and even if you do, we it, ain't, it don't even matter. This is for protection. This is for protection. This is for hey. This is for protection. This is for protection. But this is for protection. But don't get it twisted for one minute. Don't you get it twisted for one minute. Year 2020. And I want every black person all over the world to hear me. Black people have always been a peaceful people. Every single American war that this country gave us, black people fought in it, me included. And not only that, we never had that, that, that we never had that complex of that. that we never that, had that, that complex, that, bro. That racial, that racial we would go to war and we black people, we never had that in the back of our head. Dog, we black people had showed, we were born with that. We didn't show them Harvard graduates. Mm. We didn't show them business owners. Mm -hmm. We didn't show them genius mm -hmm. artists. President. Uh, you know, President Harvard, same thing. Man, we showed this white country every single piece of black excellence we could show them, and they still consider us niggas. They still consider us less than. So guess what? Black people, we're going to start spinning with us. If, you, if you're white and you're not evil, you can come and spin with us. You heard me?
crazy that we still we still fighting for, for, for the same. We still fighting for the same shit my granddaddy fought for. We still fighting for for, for rights that they are born Get my man with. right here. For rights for rights that they are born with, we still fighting for. So we ask us why we out here fight. We out here for a reason. We out here for some privilege that we're supposed to be born with that we have to fight for. Black versus white. I would die here two weeks ago. It's good versus evil, bitch. It's good versus evil. Yeah. When you put it, it's still, it's still certain uh -huh. rights that, that my child is not born with that other children are. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm out here fighting. Have have it's still certain stigmatism that I still have to tell my child what to watch for certain stuff if he's ever stopped by this. But other kids so on. What's the difference between their kids and my kids? What's the difference? And then shout out, and then shout out to Leo Savage. That's what let's, talk, let's talk about Leo Savage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's yeah. talk about Savage. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Did, you, did, you, did you run for mayor? He was all in the black community on our votes. No, no, fuck no, no, no. Well, wants. well, to whom it may concern. To whom it may. To whom it may. Yeah, to whom it may concern, bro. Don't, don't speak, don't speak on none of us carrying guns, and don't uh, because I heard, I saw a comment that said, "Why aren't those men in jail for carrying those assault rifles?" But you ain't say nothing about those Confederates when they pulled up trying to intimidate them little girls over there. So that's cool, but when, we, but when the real men come to defend some shit and just be a symbol of power, now we should be in jail. I hope y'all paid attention to who made that comment on Facebook and don't vote for shit that he got going ever. That's why we say black lives matter. Ever. Make sure y'all shop sleepersfortherich.com. Because <laughs> we still hustling. You gotta put that plug in there. I got a thousand tuned in right now. Put that plug in there. Thank you, sir.